Let's look at the first problem, sample problem. Lithium nitride reacts with water to form ammonia and lithium hydroxide. Okay. If 4.87 grams of lithium nitride reacts with 5.80 grams of water, find the limiting reactant. Okay. So we've started off, I've given you here the equation, but you want to make sure that you actually, you know, that's the first thing you want to start off with. Okay. So, so the N of lithium nitride. So we start off with our mass, which is 4.87 grams, and we're going to divide it by the molar mass of lithium nitride, which is 34.8 grams per mole. Okay. Grams cancel out, leaving me with 0 0.140 mole of lithium nitride. Okay. So, then let's try to find the number of moles of water. We know the amount, the mass that we're using. We want to find out the number of moles. So now we're gonna have we have 5.85 grams divided by the molar mass of water, which is 18.0 grams per mole. Again, grams cancel out, and we're equal to 0 0.322 mole of H2O. Okay. So, this is the ratio. Okay, we have 0 0.140 moles of lithium nitride to 0 0.322 moles of water. Now, using that information, we can go into our chart, our stoichiometric chart. Okay. So let's uh, put up our table. Okay. So here we're going to list. Now, what we want to do for this is we have the moles, right? Remember last time we were calculating? One of these was what we had to find. Right? So now, where's the unknown? The unknown is you want to figure out how much product you're going to make. So your unknown you're going to make is either that oops, or that. That's going to be your unknown. The one I usually like to pick, I like to pick the one that has one in front of it. Okay. So what we're going to do is our unknown... Okay, remember we have mole and then we have molecules. Okay. Our unknown we're going to put is going to be um, the ammonia, NH3. That's going to be our unknown. So we want to find out the number of moles we have of that. But now, for the rest of the table, remember we only used, okay, we only listed two things. But now we're actually going to list three things. Okay. We are going to list our lithium nitride and we are going to list our water. So how many moles do we have of lithium nitride? We just calculated 0 0.140. How many moles of water have we calculated? Zero. 0.322. Now, how many molecules have we created of uh, ammonia? One. One. How many moles do we need? Are we using of lithium nitride? One. One. How many moles of water? Three. Three. So now, remember what we said. We use the table. Right? We use the table and we separate the mole to molecule to find our ratio of moles. Right? But now we have three of them. So what do we do? Well, we treat it as if let's find this first. Right? So we're gonna find okay the number of moles that we're gonna create of ammonia if we're using that many moles of lithium nitride. 
Then we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to use the number of moles of water to find out how many moles of ammonia we're going to find. Okay, so take a moment and copy out, uh, and actually solve for the number of moles for ammonia when it's created using lithium nitride and used when creating with water. What we're going to do now is we're going to find the ratio, we're going to compare the ratio of ammonia okay, to lithium nitride. So we're going to use this, remember what we said, we, the separation, we treat it as if they're equal, right? So we're going to have x moles of um, ammonia okay, over um, 0 0.140 moles okay, of lithium nitride equals one molecule okay, of ammonia over one molecule of lithium nitride. So what we do, we take this here at the bottom, we bring it up there, and we're left with x is equal to 0 0.140 times 1 over 1, which will give me the same thing, right? 0 0.140 moles of what? Of ammonia, right? So, with this many moles of lithium nitride, we're going to make the same amount of moles of the ammonia. So now, what we're going to do is, we're going to find now the ratio of the ammonia to water, doing the same thing. But now, we're going to ignore this part, right? We don't need this. We've already used that. So we're going to have x, okay, uh, mole, x moles of ammonia over 0 0.322 moles of water is equal to one molecule of ammonia over three molecules of water. And so we're going to bring this over and we're going to get the number of moles of ammonia, okay, number of moles of ammonia is equal to 0 0.322 times 1 over 3. And when we multiply them together, what do we get? 0 0.107 moles of ammonia. So, the um, lithium nitride makes this much ammonia. The water is going to make this much ammonia. Which is making more? The lithium nitride. Which makes which one the limiting reactant? The water. The water, okay, the water here is the limiting reactant. Because the water is producing less ammonia. Okay. So the water is considered the, because all of a sudden, well, we have 0 0.14 moles of ammonia produced as opposed to 0 0.107 moles of ammonia that is produced by water. Okay? So the limiting reactant is going to be water because it creates less of the product. Now, we could have done this and that using lithium hydroxide if we wanted to. Okay? It really wouldn't have mattered. And we still get a greater answer okay, with the lithium nitride than we would with the water. But we choose only one of our products to kind of make the comparison.